Welcome to the Business of Travel, the official podcast of the Global Business Travel Association. I'm Debbie Iannacci, Head of Global Communications, Public Relations and Research for GBTA, and I'll be your host for today's episode. An ongoing commitment to education, training, and learning is not only good for our professional development and careers, but it's also good for us personally. GBTA has always recognized and delivered leading programs for our members and the industry, whether it's in person, live streaming, or on demand. And currently, the GBTA educational catalog boasts thousands of courses, webinars, certifications, trainings, and more. Today, Jill Karankowitz, Senior Director, Education and Engagement for GBTA, is here to share insights on the overall education program available to GBTA members. And she'll also provide highlights about the sessions that attendees can expect during our upcoming GBTA convention, November 17th through 19th in Orlando. Welcome, Jill. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Debbie. Happy to be here. Great. Well, as we said, education, learning, and professional development, you know, a lot of those things just kind of come together, has really been a cornerstone of the value that GBTA brings to the table for members. So how would you say GBTA determines what types of educational programs and courses to offer? Well, of course, we listen to our members. Um, we, we actually have 21 committees uh, that are all volunteer, and they focus on areas that are critical to corporate travel professionals. Um, they represent both regional and global issues, what the trends are, what the needs are from the buyer and the supplier perspective. And those volunteer members from the different committees, as well as our regional advisory boards and our board of directors, are really critical in determining what the educational topics and content will be each year. We're already actually starting to look at 2022. Uh, with plans to expand the member voices. So what we're planning on doing is conducting a flash poll um, in the coming weeks to make sure we know where all of our members need more help. What is it that they want to learn? How do they want to learn it? And then we'll take those data points and share them with our volunteer committees so that we can offer additional context and guide project and content decisions going into the new year. And speaking of the new year and looking at years past, you know, I think we all, you know, the, the last year or two has definitely been one of change and adapting uh, and looking at uh, what might be next or what's needed. So how would you say the approach to education and professional development has changed over the years in business travel uh, industry in general or, or has it? What, what are folks looking for now from GBTA? Yeah, that's a great question. And as different as everything is, I wouldn't necessarily say that the, the education and professional development needs have changed as much as they've broadened. Um, so there's always going to be a need for some of the more tactical and practical uh, training and, and development type of lessons as new people enter the industry or expand their roles greater into the industry. Um, but every year we sort of see this greater emphasis on things that go beyond traditional travel. And this year is clearly no exception. It's, a, it's actually a far, degree, far greater degree in areas like DEI and sustainability. And I think what industry professionals are looking for is really a better understanding of how they can have an impact in these broader areas and what they're doing day to day. Right. And that's that's really important, especially as we look out uh, into what might be coming next. So when when you're thinking about our GBTA members, what are what are some of the consistently most popular or widely taken education courses that everybody's uh, involved in? I would say um, the Global Leaders Program, commonly referred to as the GLP, um, is, is one of the more popular and sought after programs. And maybe one of the reasons that is, is because it is limited availability and it has a two year time commitment. So it's, it's broken though into manageable pieces um, with four different courses in topics that are, are broad beyond travel. So it's, it's leadership, it's management, it's finance uh, and marketing, but with a travel industry perspective. Um, and so it's, it's a popular program in that it teaches you beyond that tactical and practical, uh, and it requires that commitment. And, and then there's recognition at the end that you, you use that GLP designation after your name um, in your professional uh, 
documentation or your professional social media. Um, and then those things are recognized at convention as well. So we, we like to make a big celebration because this is a long, a long process to actually get there. Um, and then this year, we're excited that we can acknowledge and recognize those graduates of this program from both 2020 and the upcoming ones for the 2021 uh, program year during our main stage session on the final day of convention. Right. And that's great. It's quite it's quite a commitment and an achievement uh, for the people in the in the program. So it'll be great to see uh, everybody have that recognition. And like you said, that celebration. Um, and, and speaking of the years uh, of the past year and the year prior, um, as a result of the pandemic and kind of the circumstances, you know, that come around that, have, has GBTA added new or different courses? Oh, yes, we've had to. I'm sure everybody has. Right. Um, but just some examples, um, you know, we weren't able to have live events uh, during the pandemic like like everyone else. Um, and so what GBTA did was launch a virtual series cleverly called Collaboratories uh, in 2020, and they continued uh, um, into this year as well. And these are, are sort of longer virtual events, each of them including a specific theme for content. Um, and so as an example, our last one is coming up uh, October 19th and is scheduled on the meetings and events. And it's really about what are the adjustments and changes uh, as a result of the pandemic um, that you have to make in each of these areas. So meetings and events will be a very interesting one to tackle. Um, you know, some of the other changes, the global leadership program that I, I mentioned uh, previously used to be in person. Uh, they were moved to virtual um, and, and we relaunched the corporate uh, the Certificate in Corporate Travel Execution this year, or a CCTE, um, which was a very popular program that uh, we hadn't offered in a few years. We relaunched it this year, again, in a virtual format. And what we found is that these courses, um, despite the Zoom fatigue, these courses in a virtual format are giving an opportunity to others who might not have been able to participate before, whether it's um, a few days out of the office being a challenge or they don't typically travel um, for their work or for pro professional development opportunities. So it's, it's definitely broadened the, the audience um, of interest for these programs. Right. And, and that's great that folks could continue to learn even in environments and really advance their career, uh, even as they're doing it virtually. Absolutely. Um, and while I, you know, there's no substitute for in-person engagement, um, this is something that can help supplement that, right? And so I think we'll see that moving forward in general, uh, that we'll continue to adopt a mix of in-person with purpose and virtual where it makes sense. No, that, that's great. And, and speaking of, you know, uh, opportunities for learning, uh, you might say that the GBTA convention is the annual apex or pinnacle mm -hmm. of a uh, one-stop shop for, for in-person learning uh, opportunities uh, and sessions. So uh, this year, GBTA is offering 50 education sessions at convention. Are there any sessions that are trending now in terms of where we're seeing attendee interest? Sure, we definitely are. So one of the things that we're taking a look at regularly is the views um, on the website. So each of the sessions on the website is listed with a description and we're able to see how many are, are being uh, tracked or clicked on and, and searched in areas of interest. And so from that, I can see, you know, that our main stage sessions, uh, which are, are broader over overarching themes in the areas of the state of the industry, sustainability, the future of work, DE&I, and then wellness and balance. Those are definitely among the highest that are being viewed. Um, but we also have a, quite a few breakout sessions that are grabbing attention. And, and not surprisingly, they're in areas that are surrounding managing through crisis, right? We're still in a bit of a managing through mode, um, as well as sustainability, um, because it's, it's got it when we recover, we have to do so sustainably. And then always, always, always very popular are technology trends. So what are what are the big trends that are up and coming in travel technology that can help make your program um, or your user experience better? Um, and then, you know, these are just sort of the standouts right now, but it's still quite early. We have sessions across 15 different topics and they cover different types of needs. So whether you're at a, 
a fundamental level, an applied level, or, or you're looking for something more strategic, there are courses in each of these areas um, for, for you uh, to be able to take something away and move to that next level if you'd like. Um, so there, there really is something for everybody. It doesn't matter where you are in your career or what your goals are that you're trying to achieve uh, when you get back to the office or back to your home office, whatever the case may be. Um, but there's something for everybody to be able to apply and take away. Right. And I think, I think for, you know, what you've been talking about too, is that great mix of what we might consider traditional topics in business travel. Um, yep. But also, you know, beyond that, you know, things that are bigger on the societal trends or things that travel managers may need um, moving forward to really think about, you know, what's coming ahead. Um, so when, when we think about what I like to call the catalog, this catalog of educational greatness that GBTA has, literally thousands of learning opportunities, um, are there also a few hidden or underrated gems or new items that you think people should definitely be checking out if they haven't already? Oh, definitely, definitely. So um, it, we have a program uh, called Ladders. And this is a mentoring program. Um, every year, this group orchestrates small teams of mentees and pairs them with both a mentor and an alumni advisor. And for the better part of a year, they work together on an industry project that's around a broad topic. Um, just as an example, last year, the topic was connection as the future of travel. And the individual projects ranged from the cost of not traveling to leisure policy, um, DEI, and even a concept for an app plugin on traveler well-being. So it's really diverse and the team takes it where they want it to go. Um, and the reason I think this is so sort of underrated or maybe a hidden gem is the fact that it is free. It is included with GBTA membership. There's an application process. Um, and so maybe not everybody can participate, um, but this is definitely something that people should be watching for. You know, I wish I wish we had done this a month ago um, because the, the application for the upcoming program um, has just closed. And, and so I don't have I can't get additional applications, applicants in there because of where they are in the process. But it is absolutely one to watch. Something that people can take advantage of now, however, uh, ISO um, 31030 has actually uh, launched some guidelines in travel risk management, and our team is very busy preparing for uh, launching a boot camp to help understand what these guidelines mean and, and how it might apply to them. And so uh, those courses start later this month, um, and there are three separate courses available this year for people to take advantage of. And then finally, I think it's really important that everyone knows that we have scholarships. Um, so our academy courses, which include the CCTE and the GLP, Fundamentals and Advanced Principles of Business Travel Management and Strategics Meetings Management, um, and then the GTP examination as well. Um, we have scholarships for these academy courses. Uh, we had a, a very generous anonymous donor who stepped up to provide scholarships and help cover the costs for industry professionals to enroll in these courses. Um, and so a lot of people tend to sort of think, oh, it's a scholarship. It's an exhaustive process. I might not qualify. I promise you it is such a simple process. And the qualification is that you are a GBTA or a GBTA chapter member. Um, every one of the registration pages has a link to scholarship application on it. So I would encourage anyone that's interested in checking it out, give it a try. It, it'll take you just a few minutes to fill out your own information um, and let us know what courses we can help you with. Wow, that, that's a lot of great ways and means to really, you know, stay on top of education. And a lot of us are really thinking about that, you know, and planning for 2022. So um, these are great kind of hidden opportunities or, or things to check out uh, for people to get involved in. And always thank you to our donors who are stepping up and helping us bring a lot more programs uh, to the membership in general. So when we when we think about the coming year ahead, if someone has an idea or a proposal for a great educational program that they'd like to see GBTA bring to its members, how, how should they submit it for consideration? What's the process? 
You know, interesting, Debbie, we actually go and ask for it. Um, so next month, we will launch our annual call for proposals. And that's a great way to let us know your interest in presenting or developing content and what that content is about. Um, so we have a whole process around this where you can actually submit your idea, your interest, and, and the parameters around that. Um, we're also going to be launching a flash poll to identify what our members are looking to learn. So watching for those emails in the next two to three weeks is really the best way to provide us not only with what you'd like to teach, but what you'd like to learn so that we have an ability to marry those pieces together and create content for 2022 that is very meaningful um, and, and applicable to, to our member base out there. Um, but that said, we will take your proposals and feedback all year long. So the website at gbta.org, there is a professional development page, and that includes links to speaking opportunities that you might want to submit or you have interest in. Um, and you can always email us. So we, we absolutely manage our emails on a regular basis. And the email address is pd, as in professional development, at gbta.org. Well, that, that's fantastic. And, and even I am still looking through the full catalog to see what's available. Um, such a wealth and, uh, of information. And, you know, thank you and to you and your team and, and everybody, because I know it's, it's uh, the entire organization, the entire membership that's bringing their expertise uh, to the benefit of others. So thank you so much, Jill, for joining us today. Oh, it's been fun. Thanks for having me. Sure. And for those who want to find out more about the wealth of educational offerings from GBTA, visit the website gbta.org or the GBTA hub for members. You've been listening to the Business of Travel, the official podcast of the Global Business Travel Association. For more information about our work, visit our website and be sure to rate and review us wherever you get your podcasts. Until next time, thanks for listening.